Hello and welcome to the third video of my series on getting started with SketchUp 2014 Pro. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about rectangles, polygons, arcs, and circles. This should be a short one, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and start by drawing a rectangle. This is done much the same way that you would draw um, a line. You pick one point and you pick a second point. However, unlike a line, you're picking opposite corners and you're drawing a polygon inside of that, and in this case you're drawing a rectangle. And one of the things you can do with this is you can pick a point, and if you look down at the bottom, oops, look down at the bottom here, you see you've got this option for dimensions. You can specify dimensions for your drawing. So let's say I want this to be 120 by 120, and there you have an object, a rectangle, a square in this case, that is 120 inches by 120 inches. Let's go ahead and move on to the polygon tool. This is done by clicking the down arrow here, selecting polygon. If you don't have this toolbar up, that's okay. Go ahead and go to the draw menu and go to shapes, polygon. Now down at the bottom immediately, it gives you an option to pick how many sides you'd like to have. And in this case, it defaults to six. You can set this to be how many you'd like. And you can go ahead and pick where you, your, your radius or drag it out to however big you'd like it to be. Now you'll notice that this is a circumscribed polygon. In this case, it's a circumscribed hexagon. Um, and that means that if you were to draw a circle, the circle would be around the polygon. It would touch the corners rather than touching the faces. So that's the polygon tool. And again, you can specify however many sides you'd like to be on that. So for instance, let's say I want to make a three-sided polygon, a triangle. Here we have a triangle. If I want to make a seven-sided polygon, there's a heptagon right there. And you can break that up however you'd like it to be. So there we go. You can see there are seven sides on that. Let's go ahead and move on to the arc tool. The arc tool is like the line tool. Uh, it's a compound line, is technically is what, what it is. What you let you do is it lets you pick one point, pick another point, and pull an arc. You'll notice I'm pulling the arc on the green axis here, but you can also specify other axes that you'd like to pull it on. So for example, right now I'm pulling this on the blue axis. You can see that here. And that was done again, if you remember the previous videos that I made, I showed you how to force SketchUp to work on a specific axis. So if you don't remember that, go back and watch my previous videos. They're short, you'll get through them quick. So the arc tool, again, um, you pick one point, you pick a second point, and you pull out. And again, you can specify the axis that you want to work on. So let's... do one of these. There we have a uh, couple arcs. The last thing I wanted to show you is the circle tool. The circle tool um, starts, again, everything is built of lines and it's built of 24 lines. It has 24 sides. Now you can simplify that. You can make that less or more, however many you'd like. So for example, let's make a 12-sided circle here. You'll notice that it is um, it does have 12 sides. Uh, now SketchUp considers this still to be a circle, but as you can see, it's built up of sides, and that goes with what I said before that everything is composed of either lines or faces. Um, and I shared that in my last video. So those are the the basic drawing tools we've talked about rectangles, polygons, arcs, and circles. And you should be able to find those. Again, those are all either under the draw menu, where you have lines, arcs, shapes, or um, under the toolbar if you have that up. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and answer those as fast as I can. And if you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, share it. If you thought it was great, life-changing, go ahead and subscribe. I'll bring you more of them, and I will see you in the next video.